Hi, I'm Andy the Northern Diver and welcome to another edition of my weekly video blog. This time we'll be talking about dive knives and cutting tools. Looking down on my workbench, moving left to right, you can see a selection of knives, cutting tools and net shears. The knives themselves have blunt tips in order to not pierce either the diver or the diver's dry suit. The cutting tools have an enclosed blade and the net shears much like what you'd see in any doctor's surgery or hospital. So the first blade, you can see it's made of stainless steel, although it'll start to rust through use in the sea. It's got a serrated edge, which is ideal for cutting any kind of rope or nylon. It's got a rounded tip, so should it press against you or you slip with it, it's not going to puncture you or your dry suit. And it's got a nice plastic sort of nylon style handle, very easy to grip and work with due to its shape here. It's got a blade type edge on this side, and a serrated cutting edge so it's ideal for slicing and sawing it's very neat in the hand quite balanced and it's very short for stowage makes it ideal carrying whilst underwater so our second knife then it comes from Aqualung it's a very much a stereotypical kind of knife it has a line cutter little gouge that you can just see there it has your serrated edge a chisel tip a sharp knife edge comes with a locking mechanism, a scabbard, a means to fasten it to either your BCD through these little screw points or around your leg or onto your inflator hose, perhaps using a zip tie. So that's the Aqualung dive knife. So this is the Beaver line cutter and um, I'd say probably the weakest knife that we've got. Although quite good, as in you know, a serrated edge and don't find it very sharp. Um, it's got a little scabbard and a clip so it can be clipped onto something basically it fits in like that clips onto your kit when you need it you pull it out but I found when I've tried to use it that it's perhaps not the sharpest tool in the box our fourth cutter is the easy glide trilobite there's a blade encapsulated inside so you tr would try and catch the line and as it pulls through it slices against this this blade here actually comes supplied with several spurs a couple of small phillips head screws that you can undo so it'd be stowed on your kit like so in a little pouch you pull the velcro tab off pull that out and it's free to use i use two of these on my harness and i think they're a worthy piece of kit not too much money so last but by no means least the net shears great piece of kit if you know you're going to be surrounded by any kind of monofilament nets very similar to what you would see in the doctor's surgery so it's got a serrated edge it's got a nice tip it seems to work very well they're made of stainless steel i actually found these underwater on a dive site uh, nobody claimed them so i kept them and they're absolutely perfect for if you're diving anywhere that you may suspect will have any lines or nets on site so worth putting in your pocket of your dry suit taking with you on a dive. Okay then to try and demonstrate how we use our line cutters and knife attachment I'm wearing my back plate and harness as you can see I've not mounted my wing or my cylinder but nice and bright against the, the blue of my t-shirt and the black of the straps or perhaps even my, the neoprene of my wet or dry suit I'll be wearing okay there's a nice bright orange stripe of the velcro cutter pull cord as you can see extremely easily deployed and you can see the blades in between there that pops back in quite easily attaches quite firmly as you undo it doesn't just drop out so it takes a bit of a tug to get it out but nice and secure once fitted and easily deployable not so noticeable is my dive knife <coughs> As I showed you earlier, it's kind of a dive knife with a blunt tip and a serrated edge. It fits nice and neatly on the hip, secured out of the way. When I bend over, it doesn't stab into any of my kit, so it doesn't protrude through there without having a blunt tip. So earlier on in this episode, we talked about different types of knives, line cutters and net shears. It's very important to have the right kind of cutter for the right kind of dive. So for instance, if you were diving in the open ocean, you might presume you won't need any cutting tools whatsoever. However, if you've got a problem with your kit and you need to remove that kit, then you will need some form of cutter. 
if you were to drift onto a, a wreck or a reef that had some form of nets that have been discarded, you might need some netting shears or a line cutter. You might get to a point where you come entangled with some kind of ropes, so you might need the kind of knife that's got a serrated edge to sort of saw through that. But one thing to take away from this, that a lot of people that do technical diving, they work on the rule of three for most pieces of kit. That one is none, two is one, and three is better. So if you're a new or inexperienced diver and you think our videos are some use to you, don't forget to hit subscribe. That way you can see the next video we do or maybe some of the previous ones much easier way. And if you've enjoyed this video, please hit like. It really helps us boost our sort of understanding of, of what people want. Therefore, we can carry on doing this on a more regular basis, knowing that we've got people actually are interested in what we're doing. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.